Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome now to another Swing Quest video where I'm going to try and recreate one of the best shots from the Ryder Cup. We'll show it now. Rory McIlroy short-sided himself on 17. He was down in a runoff area to the left-hand side and he played this magnificent open-faced, low, spinning pitch shot, which literally had his whole team look at each other saying, wow. And hopefully we're gonna be able to show you guys how you can play the shot as well. Now guys, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is your center for golf coaching and get down into those comments below and let us know the types of videos that you wanna see. Hit it. Oh, it's just too firm, spin. Okay, not a bad first demo shot. I think we're gonna be all right. Because that is the first warning that we need to give on this shot. This is high tariff. You need to practice this before going out to play. And I definitely wouldn't recommend it on the last green if all the windows of the clubhouse are behind the flag, especially without any practice. If you've practiced it, then you can wow the members with this shot. So we're gonna have a look at Rory's shot and we're gonna talk through the setup and exactly what's going on. First of all, you can see that the club face is very open. So it's pointing up towards the sky. Now we're gonna get into why such an open club face and so much loft actually produced a really low spinny ball flight. But that club face is open. The ball position looks like it's a little bit more towards the back of the stance, off the back foot. And the left foot is drawn back a touch, so standing slightly open to the target. Now in the takeaway, that loft is maintained. So the club face is taken away and that loft is still on the club. So I've got a 60 degree here. I think Rory uses a 58, I wanna say. But he's got a high lofted wedge as well. And from this position, the club is driven across the body, the hands moving low, and there's no divot taken. So the bounce is being used. So this combination of an angle of attack, which is driving down with the club moving left and a massive amount of loft, those two things allow a lower ball flight with a lot of spin. Another practice shot, club face open, keeping the club face open in the back swing. You'll notice how Rory has a lot of wrist hinge as well. And drive it down and left. Oh, God, I struck that well. I just have the confidence to hit it harder. Because that's the second thing to talk about with this shot. If you want to generate that amount of spin over such a short distance, the swing has to be moving very fast through the point of impact. This cannot be something slow. There has to be an aggressive movement through. So I've got three flags that I'm aiming at here. Now Rory actually hit onto something which was slightly more raised above him and with slightly less room to maneuver. It really was an incredible shot. But to practice this, I don't mind going over this short of a distance. A little bit of weight left, club face open. Oh, I've done it. Oh. Am I Rory McIlroy? Is that me? Oh, how good was that? Honestly, that might be the best feeling pitch shot I've ever hit in my life. That was absolutely incredible. Right, so that was off the back toe. There's that little bit of weight on that left side and it was that drive down and left really hard. I've got to move the hands down and around the body. Oh, the amount of spin which is being generated is unbelievable. I'm actually taking a little bit of a divot though. Don't want to do that. I want to skim it across. Okay, I'm gonna have a few goes at this. Guys, if you uh, wanna get down to those comments, let us know any short game shots that you want me to try and replicate. This is, oh, just imagine pulling this one out of my next YouTube match. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. Oh, the spin is ridiculous. 